Hey, what's going on with you guys? So, I'm going to do this quick little video. You know, we got the Monday Night Football game between the Broncos and the Chargers. And you guys know what I love to do best is prop bets. Um, we we had a good day yesterday as far as straight bets go. But uh, Parlay, unfortunately, lost in the most flukiest of ways. Um, I had Zay Jones over 42 and a half yards. Mark Andrews over 72 and a half yards. I had um, Chris Godwin over 60 and a half yards. Uh, receiving yards and I had who else did I have I had one more person um it's losing my mind but it was a four oh Stefan Diggs over 85 and a half yards right everything hit for the most part I, I thought I was in the clear and um so I go signing on FanDuel and I check and I'm like hold on how the hell does Zay Jones finish under and he literally missed by two yards because he did an 11 yard lateral on the last play of the game and um, unfortunately, it screwed me out of a big, uh, big win. And so, but for the most part, man, I, I, I crushed it yesterday. As far as straight bets go, I went four and one on just straight bets. Um, everything, everything was looking good. It's, like I said, the only, only straight bet that did not hit for me was Cooper Cup over seven and a half receptions. He finished with seven. Um, so, like I said, man, we, we, we've been doing good as far as the straight bets go. Parlays just haven't really hit this year, but. Um, that's not the hit or there. We're about to get into these plays. And actually, I want to promo one thing before we get into these plays. Uh, I want you guys to actually, uh, come check out, come check out the Discord, man. So, if, if you guys don't know, I got a Discord for sports betting. Um, still, still kind of filling up. We don't got that, we don't got that many heads yet, but we're going to get there soon. Uh, we got the different tabs for NFL, NBA, MLB, uh, you know, we got some stuff we could just lounge around in. So, uh, feel free to, I'm going to put that, uh, in the description below the, I'm going to put the link in the description below and, uh, let's get into the plays. So I'm going to get into my first, I got two plays. I'm going to get into the first play. The first play that I, that I absolutely like a lot today. And this is, it kind of pains me cause I'm a Broncos fan. I like Mike Williams over 68 and a half receiving yards. Now, this is a number he's cleared in three of the four games without Keenan Allen, and this is another game where Keenan Allen is expected to be doubtful. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, um, Patrick Sertain is probably be on him. He'll probably lock him up. But I, I, I don't really think this is a situation where Sertain just uh, follows him everywhere he goes uh, tonight, and I do think this is a situation where he could probably win one over Sertain. He is a big body. Mike Williams is uh six five whatnot, and he's a guy that you know, he's always top. He's always top like top five, top ten in the league in yards a catch. And um this season alone, he's averaging fourteen. And I think for his career is about fifteen. And we could take a look at you know dating back to last year, um dating back to the beginning of last season, the games that Keenan Allen doesn't play, we can see he's averaging well over sixty eight and a half yards. So. Uh, we're just going to start at 2021. Uh, you know, I'm, I love stat muse, right? So, uh, six catches, 108. This was, um, oh no, that was 2021. So that was, that was, uh, that was b before last season. I mean, that was still, that's still the 2020 season, but, um, you know, we're we going to still count that. That's when, that's when, uh, Herbert was starting to get into his own, right? So we're going to say 108, 61. 113. He did have a bad game this year versus Jacksonville. Uh, but then he had another great game uh, right after that against Texas 120, then against the Browns 134. So he's been putting he he has been putting up some great numbers. Um, and like I said, just the, just in three of the last four games, he's averaging. Well, you know, you take away that one game against Jacksonville, he's averaging damn near 125, 30, 130 yards. So um, the guys putting up some some crazy numbers. And I just think this is a great spot for, for him because he's going to keep getting these targets. He's averaging 10 targets a game this season in the games that Keenan Allen has missed. So I just like, I just honestly, I just like the uh, the volume in the, in the target share. And I think this is a great spot for him. Um, and, you know, that's why that's why I'm sticking with it, right? He, this is a number that he should be able to clear. Now, once it gets started getting to like 75 or so, that's when I'll probably stop, you know, just locking it in. But... Uh, I definitely like Mike Williams here in this spot. And then the second play that I like, I like Cortland Sutton with the same number at 68 and a half. Now, I do know Russell Wilson 
uh, has been dealing with a little bit of a shoulder injury, they said, the last two weeks. But this is still a number that I'm going to continue to play until until he shows me that he can't clear it. And Sun has cleared this in four of the last, in, well, in four to five games this year. So um, I think two of those, Jerry Judy didn't play. But still, even with Judy back last week against a good Colts defense, um, let's say solid Colts defense, he still was able to clear that number. And... Um, this is just a this is just a great spot for my we already know Russell Wilson doesn't like throwing it to the slot receiver. He's mostly a guy who who uh who throws to the outside receivers and um I think that's what that's where we're gonna have our uh success from. So uh Cortland Sutton, Mike Williams, lock those two in. Uh those are the two plays I I'm rolling with. And honestly, it's crazy. I haven't even looked at most of the other stats. Um, I mean, most of the other props, but, uh, man, just seeing these two off rip, I'm like, I have to go with those. Um, and let me just see if I got, got, might have a bonus play. Let's see with the rushing attempts. So you get a Melvin Gordon over 12 and a half, um, rush attempts. That's, I, I will say that's a little bit risky only in a sense that, um, we don't know what Latavius Murray's role is going to be. We don't know if he gets any, um, we don't know if he get any, uh, any volume this week. He didn't play last game. But um, this is a situation we could eke in and steal some. But if you feel if you feel that um he doesn't he doesn't bite into the backfield, I definitely like this number. So a little bit juiced at minus 130, but um I'm not mad at mad at it. But like I said, my two locks, Mike Williams and Cortland Sutton, take the over, win money. We all go on about our day. So um hopefully you guys tail this and win some money. That's what I'm rolling with. Um I might put together like a little parlay for just all the receiving yards, you know, try to probably make like a little four game, I mean, a little four leg parlay. So let's see how that goes. But like I said, uh, make sure you guys join the discord below. I'm trying to get that packed out, man. Uh, I really would love to uh, get a lot more heads in there talking um, and just, you know, just build the community. So that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. I'm out. Peace.